I recently released a video sharing what I consider my top three picks for the best cap and ball revolvers. So I figured it would make sense to also share my top three worst cap and ball revolvers. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. Well, I have to say right up front that this video was much harder to do than choosing my top three. Choosing my bottom three was tough because, to be honest, I like all three of the revolvers that I'm going to show. I like them quite a bit, at least a couple of them. So it was a little more work to really go through and decide if I had to pick the bottom three, what would be the three. So here they are at number three, meaning the one I actually like the most of these is the Lamat. Now, as cool as this gun is, and it is, it's got that shotgun barrel, it's got nine shots in 44. It's just a bit bulky. Some of it is fragile, has some parts that are easy to break, uh, kind of a flimsy loading lever, and I really don't like the grip angle on it. So, again, I like it, but it just had to go in my top three worst cap and ball revolvers. <laughs> My number two pick is actually one that I currently own, and that is Uberti's Wells Fargo revolver. A few things about it. It's, it's nice. I like the size of it. It's convenient. But in a 31 caliber, it's pretty underpowered relative to the others, like 36s and the 30, excuse me, the 44s and so on. Also, it's 31 caliber, so you only get five shots. But also it has no loading lever, so the cylinder has to be taken off every time the gun is loaded. Cool little piece, but it did have to make number two on this list. And finally, my number one pick, my least favorite cap and ball revolver, is Pieta's reproduction of the 1851 Navy in 44 caliber with a brass frame. Now you might be thinking, Dustin, that's odd because your top revolver in the other video was an 1851 Navy too. Well, yes, but my top one was a more traditional one. It's a 36 caliber, which was the production caliber for the Colt 1851 Navy. Also, I like the London model because it has all blued steel. The 44 caliber, well, I'm sure there was a prototype or several that might have come out in 44. In production, the 1851 was a 36, so this is a bit of a fantasy gun, and when they put it in a brass frame, well, 44 caliber is a bit stout for a brass frame, so you can be looking for trouble that way as well. Uh, you find these guns a lot in the starter kits that I've talked about before on the channel. So, coming in at number one, again, these are all three cool guns, but my number one least favorite would be that brass frame, 44 caliber, 1851 Navy. Now, just like in the last video, please leave comments down below telling me your top three worst cap and ball revolvers. I'd love to see what you come up with. Maybe they're the same as mine. Maybe they're entirely different. Also, please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media, as well as where to find great Guns of the West products. Thank you all so much for watching.